blowing air into here and that's not the way you want to dry teeth. In a clinical situation, blowing air into a tooth could cause an embolism uh, could, and you could have a localized reaction and, and I, that has happened to some of our faculty in the school. So there's different ways of drying the canal completely. One way is you can use cotton pellets. If you don't have any cotton pellets, you can make some cotton pellets very quickly just by just by taking some tufts of cotton off of a cotton roll, rolling them up, and then with the tooth, it's just drying drying the first of all the orifice. Okay? And then the other way is with the paper points. Uh, the coarse paper points are the best ones to use. Coarse paper points. And you don't want to take the paper point and plunge it into the canal. You want to slowly place it in the canal to let the moisture absorb into the paper point. If you plunge it in, you run the risk clinically of forcing the material apically. Again, carefully placing it in, letting the moisture absorb into the paper point, checking the end of the point and see if it's still wet, and it is wet. until it's dry. And the last thing you need to do after you fit the paper points is you have to check your patency again. And you check your patency with your number with your patency file uh, which either is either the 8 or the 10. Okay? Check your patency. And then you want to make sure that you haven't plugged the debris with and so you use your master apical file which is a 30 and just clean that out once more to make sure there isn't any debris.